Hello my crafty friends, this is Monica from Also Petit. Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial I will show you how to sew the daisy zipper pouch. To make this pouch you will need to download a free PDF pattern from my website. I will include the link to the pattern and all supplies I used in this tutorial in the description box below. This is a medium size pouch which features a top zipper closure, boxed corners and fully lined main compartment. I will show you a different construction method so you will be able to sew the zipper without using zipper tabs and instead you will create nice neat corners. This construction method requires precision and lots of practice, so I would not recommend it if you are a beginner. However, if you want to level up your sewing skills and learn something new, then keep on watching. To make daisy zipper pouch, you will need to cut two pieces from external fabric for the front and back and also two pieces from your lining fabric. You will also need number five continuous zipper. My zipper is 33 centimeters long. However, a few of my pattern testers found it easier to sew the zipper when the zipper was slightly longer. I would highly recommend burning the edges of your zipper with a lighter to prevent them from fraying. And you will also need a zipper pull. To begin, we need to transfer the corner to the wrong side of our lining pieces. So what I like to do is to use my pin and I line up the pattern on top, poke the pattern and my fabric at the corner and then I can simply take a pen or a pencil and make a dot on both pieces just like that then I do that on the other side so I flip the pattern this way line it up poke the fabric again and mark a dot make sure you have midpoints marked both on the zipper and on the front and back panels so I already have my midpoints marked then you're going to separate the zipper Take the front piece and with right sides together we're going to line up the zipper along the top edge. So first match your midpoints, clip that in place and start lining up the zipper along that top edge, just like that. If your zipper is 33 centimeters long as per sewing instructions, then you will need to place the end of your zipper two centimeters below that short edge. So I'm going to use my grid line to simply line it up just like that, clip that in place and this way I'll be able to line up my corner. And then we're going to do that on the other side. So again, measure two centimeters, line it up, clip it in place and align my corner. If your zipper is longer, then you will need to place those two ends lower, depending on how long you have cut your zipper. However, what's important here is that when you take the external back piece and you align the other side of your zipper, you need to make sure that the zipper end is exactly at the same place. So if my zipper is two centimeters below that shorter end, I need to make sure that on the other side, so on the back panel, the zipper is exactly at the same place. So they are nice and symmetrical. So you can see here from that cut here 
the zipper needs to be exactly in the same place. So if your zipper is longer, let's say it ends here, you'll need to position your zipper at the same place. This way, uh, once we assemble the pouch, those corners are nice and neat because when you are going to close your zipper, the zipper teeth will be aligned. Otherwise, if you don't place your zipper correctly, once you close the zipper, the zipper might be wonky or the zipper might be shorter on one side of your pouch. So precision is very important when constructing this pouch. So I'm going to align the other side of the zipper now. When you are ready, you're going to take your panels and we're going to base the zipper from the inner corner around and you're going to stop at the inner corner using five millimeter seam allowance. Then you're going to take your lining pieces and with right sides together, so external and lining right sides together, you're going to place the lining on top. Again, line up the midpoints, flip them in place, and then you can line up the top edge. And we are basically sandwiching the zipper between both pieces. So let's clip that all around. And repeat for the remaining two pieces. When you are ready, you're going to take this to the machine and we're going to sew the seam using seven millimeter seam allowance. We're going to start at the notch, go all around and then finish at the other notch. And we're going to do that both on the front and back panels. Then you're going to take the scissors and we're going to snip the fabric from the inner corner. So from this corner here, going towards the end of your stitching line. So where the dot is, you're going to cut the fabric going towards the end of the stitch, both on the external and lining fabric. So make sure you don't cut through the stitching just snip it as close as you can so about so stop about two millimeters from the end of your stitch so it looks something like this so don't cut the um, zipper you're only cutting fabric do that on both sides and repeat on the back pieces then you're going to make little snips into the curved corners so your seam lay nice and flat then we're going to turn the fabric right side out next you're going to take your zipper pull and you're going to insert the pull on your zipper here we go. I like to do it twice, so I have both ends closed. So I'll do that again. Here we go, just like that. Then we're going to flip the panels so the wrong side is visible. So you're going to line up the external pieces. So external pieces, right sides together and lining pieces are right sides together and we're going to line up the side seams so right sides together line up the side seam clip that in place and you're going to have to maneuver the zipper out of the way so don't pull your fabric too hard because the 
fabric can rip beyond the stitching line which you want to avoid you need to try to be gentle and keep the zipper out of the way so you can sew your seam so i'm going to gently maneuver the zipper out of the way clip my seam just like that then when you are ready we're going to take this to the machine and we're going to sew both seams using one centimeter seam allowance sewing the side seam is the most tricky part of the construction in my opinion so i would highly recommend using a zipper foot or a narrow foot so you can easily sew the side seam without bumping or sewing through the zipper Once you have the side seam stitched on the external fabric, you're going to repeat the steps for the lining fabric. So again, we're going to line up the side edges and clip them in place. Here we go. And when you are ready, take this to the machine and we're going to sew the seams using one centimeter seam allowance. Next, you're going to open the seam allowance and press them flat. So I like to use my tailor's hand for that. Place the external fabric first, open the seam and press it flat. And I repeat that on all side seams. Next, you're going to open your panel. So separate the external and lining fabric and we're going to work on the short edges. So you're going to take your side seam with that little triangle cut out. You can see the triangle on the inner portion and line it up on top of your zipper. Then you're going to have to maneuver the lining fabric as well. So make sure your seam is open and you're going to line it up on the other side of your zipper. So this is the step which requires the most amount of precision to ensure that you have those nice and sharp corners on your finished pouch. So take your time, maneuver the fabric out of the way, make sure your side seam is centered on top of your zipper on each side so it should look like this when you are ready you're going to sew from the edge of that inner triangle so i just move the seam allowance outside so you can see so here is that dot where you finish stitching your zipper so you need to stitch across the zipper from that dot on one side to the dot on the other side so you're going to stitch a short stitch across the zipper catching both the external fabric and the lining fabric so again make sure you have those two pieces aligned properly to ensure that you have a nice and neat finish both on the outside and inside of your pouch so I'm going to just clip that to hold everything in place and I'm going to take this to the machine to sew across and you're going to do that on both sides so if your zipper is longer you'll have more of the zipper showing than me but it is absolutely fine you can trim the zipper after we finish sewing this step Once you have that short end stitched, then you can turn the pouch right side up just to check if you're happy with your corners. If there is no puckering, both on the external and lining side. So my corners look pretty good. 
If you are happy with everything, flip your pouch inside out and then you're going to take this to the machine and we're going to top stitch around the entire zipper. Once you have that top stitched, then you're going to flip the panels so the lining pieces are right sides together and the external pieces are right sides together, just like that. And we're going to line up the bottom edges. So you're going to line up the front and back on the external panels and also on the lining panels. So just line up the straight long edge on both sides. Here we go. When you are ready, you're going to take this to the machine and we're going to sew both seams using one centimeter seam allowance. So on the external fabric, you're going to stitch the entire seam However, on the lining fabric, you need to leave an opening in the center of your seam. So then later we can turn the pouch right side out. So you're going to stitch short seam on one side and then on the other side, leaving a middle unstitched. When you are ready, you're going to open the seam allowance and press it flat. Next, you're going to separate the front and back panels so we can box our corners. To do that, you're going to line up the base seam and the side seam. So line it up, line up that short raw edge and clip it in place. Just like that and repeat that on all four corners. When you are ready, you're going to take this to the machine and we're going to sew each seam using one centimeter seam allowance. All right, once you have all four seams stitched, then you're going to turn the pouch right side out for that opening in the lining. Here we go, push your corners, check if everything looks nice and neat. And if you are happy with everything, you're going to pull the lining outside of your pouch because we need to close the opening in the lining. So to do that, you can simply line up the edges clip them in place and either take this to the machine to stitch along the opening or if you prefer more neat finish you can close the opening by hand using a ladder stitch. Here we go, just like that. Then you're going to place the lining back into your pouch, line up the corners Give your pouch a final press if you have to. Otherwise, your daisy zipper pouch is now finished. Well done. If you enjoyed this tutorial, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I shall see you in the next video.